Okay, so to save um, multiple tracks to batch export and stem out um, in Cubase, the first thing I would do is make sure that things you do not that are not actually used in the project are disabled. Unless you're directly in charge of the project, I wouldn't delete anything. But here's an example. I've deleted all of the others, but here's a track that we ended up not using. It probably contains some sounds. Um, and we are going to right-click on it and disable it. That's going to turn it dark gray uh, like these other guys. And we can bring them back to life if we want them to. But they're not going to take any CPU time. Uh, and um, and it's cleaner when we export, because the next step is you go File, Export, Audio Mix Down. Instead of choosing Export One Channel, the Mastering Bus, we're going to export multiple channels. And now we get to choose what we want. And because, so if, depending on what kind of uh, transfer we're talking about, if, if this is a project that we are currently developing, then we don't want group channels. Uh, we just want the stems that are here, right? We just want to transfer that from Studio A to Studio B or somebody else. They're not trying to mix it. And as specified, if it's an internal transfer, we just want to track out the instruments, not the mixing. If it's for uh, archival purposes, or if it's for transmission or uh, to another studio that we don't know, uh, or to a client for their archival, then we want to give them um, uh, as much as possible, including the main out, uh, all the buses. This, this way they have an acapella bus, all nice and neat. And they have an instrumental bus, all nice and neat. And then, um, and then all the effects stemmed out, and then all the individual tracks. Um, but for our purposes, we don't really need any group channels. We might want to put in the, the returns of the effects. Because we've disabled all the tracks that are not in use, the only thing we see under instrument tracks are the tracks that are being used. So we can confidently select all of them. Same goes for audio channel. We can um, choose everything. Uh, we actually don't need this guy right here, which is this guy right here, which is I keep the latest export of a mix in there uh, so that I can compare it to the next mix after I'm done. So it's easily accessible, but we should have we should have disabled that. And now it's going to disappear from here. There you go. And then you uh, want to create a new folder called stems. Uh, at the project level, um, just like where we would put mixes, there would be stems. And you dump everything in there. And as far as audio output format, keep it the way it is in the session, which you can check by going Shift S or Project Setup. And you will see that the file format is 4824. So don't degrade from that. Um, so once you have all that. Selected. You do not want mono down mix, stereo, it's going to be fine. Um, then export. Now, if you want to be anal about it, which is what I would do, you would do a two step process where instruments and effects return would be exported first because they are stereo. And then, if you then want to be thorough, all the single mono channels would be exported as mono in a second phase, and you would click the mono thing. But that would be me. OK, that's it.